Hi, I'm Una. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I do Pride Japaning and other related content and today I'm going to talk about all of my makeup empties for 2022. So yeah, I've never done an empties video before. I never really felt like I had enough to show, um, but I have collected all of my empties, I think. <laughs> um, and wait, it's just one. I think I've collected all my empties, and so I'm gonna show them to you and talk about my thoughts on the products and on the fact that I finished them, I guess. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna dump these out. Wow, okay. And start at the beginning, which is unfortunately <laughs> a little bit complicated. A couple of these compacts have been repurposed, so I'm gonna have to show you compacts with the product in them that aren't the product that I empty. And this should really be it now. Uh, no more fake outs. Okay, the first item I finished this year was this NYX Translucent Setting Powder. Um, there was like barely anything left of this at the end of the year, but I think it took me technically until 2022. So yeah, I now have a blush in this, but ignore that. This is the packaging, completely empty for most of the year. Um, this was my first powder that I finished. I basically finished it in 2021, but I just barely didn't. So there's that, that's one. The next was the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I got this in like a birthday gift set along with the blush that like everybody got. I liked it. Let's see if I wrote things. Okay, is what I wrote. It was okay. Um, yeah, high-end mascaras. I've never really noticed that I really wanted to get keep purchasing one. Next was the e.l.f. Makeup Mist In Set. This was a setting spray. It was fine. I like, I've said this before, I like having a little bit of a spray just to have around, but I don't care that much. After I finish this, I bought one and then I use it up and then I bought another one. Uh, it's like basically dewy. I will say this is like really small for something that you go through not that slowly. Like, it's just like a lot of packaging to product ratio. So I wouldn't repurchase this size. I don't know if this is the bigger or the smaller size. I know that they sell two sizes of this, but um, yeah, it was fine. Did I write anything? Wouldn't repurchase because I don't notice a difference is what I wrote. <laughs> I like I like this. Okay, next was the Gucci mascara. This is like a teensy tiny little sample. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, very spindly long lashes, which I enjoyed, but I'm sure that that's not, I'm sure I don't need to buy a Gucci mascara to get that. I just need to find a good mascara that I actually like. And I did like it and it definitely started smudging towards the end, but yeah, adorable tiny packaging and I enjoyed it. The next thing I used up was an eyeshadow that's actually still in a palette. It was this one, Gaze. Um, it was like a cream kind of eyeshadow. It was a little bit darker than like a cream that you use to like set your eyeshadow primer. I actually used it as like a blush <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, yeah, I hit pan on it in 2020 and then it crumbled and I repressed it. Anyway, there wasn't a ton of it left, but I did really enjoy it. Um, I used it 141 times that I tracked, so that's pretty darn good. And um, I've thought this whole year that I should press something into this <laughs> pan, but I still haven't. So we'll see if I ever do. Um, I should. I should declutter this shade and repress something in here and make it like a more workable palette, but I still have it. One day, one day I'll do that. Next was this tinted lip balm that I kept in my lip gloss category. The only complaint, I, I really liked this. <laughs> the only complaint I had is if I reapplied it a lot like a lip balm, sometimes the pigment would kind of cling to my lips, um, but it was fine. I used it 367 times in this project or in the rolling project, like panning actively. Um, but yeah, I used it all the way up I emptied it all the way out and then I put it in a lip balm and then I used it all the way up. But yeah, I think I filled like this whole tube. So I'm really proud of myself for that one. And it was very satisfying. This packaging is very nice though. Next was the shade Tempera from my ABH Modern Renaissance, which is in this little pan. It's super easy to use up. This one was light enough that I used it to kind of set my eyeshadow primer slash cover up mistakes when I blend something too far up. Um, yeah, it was great. It's a basic shade. I used it up, the pan's empty. I should put something in here probably, just for fun. Um, next was the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This technically could have dried up, but I used it 17 times and then it was gone. So yeah, this is in my Stardew Valley project pan for a little bit and um, yeah, it was nice. I mean, I think liquid eyeliners like this, again, a lot of product for not very much, 
a lot of packaging for not very much product so I would not repurchase but I did enjoy it I remember buying it in Sephora and it was very exciting and back when I wore liquid eyeliner all the time <laughs> which I never do um but yeah it lasted a good couple years and then it is gone so that's that um after that was this lipstick the Gen Nude liquid lipstick in the shade Slay um yeah I really quite enjoyed this it was like a cool tone as you can see it's kind of a purpley nude um pretty similar to my lip color I will say this formula I don't know it's moussey and I can like it or it can look like really weird on my lips so not my favorite would not repurchase um also quite old but pretty good I got 144 tracked uses on it so pretty darn good by the way now we're into May I finished this in May the next product I used up was my Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in the shade Do You. I will say I used up two of these this year <laughs> and this one you can still see all of my marks and you can still see all of the ingredients or not ingredients all of the like details you can still see most of the Marc Jacobs on the front this is not the case for the other the other um one of these but anyway um I like when I bought these I had seen a makeup tutorial for like no foundation makeup that used this as an illuminator and it just looked beautiful and effortless and when I bought it it was like wow this is not effortless this looks bad if I don't try really hard but I loved it when I mixed it with foundation and so I did that I was painting a foundation that you'll see shortly and yeah it was great it smells great the brand is out of um no longer exists so I can't get it but it's not like it was a holy grail which is honestly pretty good because this is not very much <laughs> um but yeah pretty solid use that up um that took 98 uses if you're curious next was this lash out loud mascara from elf um one of the few things i bought this year and used up there are a couple of those this i did not like it was too clumpy is what i wrote but a good length i mean it wasn't bad i used it up i used it 71 times so like it was fine but <laughs> would not repurchase i did get it for free though so there's that next was another powder it was this powder. This is my L'Oreal True Match powder. When I started the year, it had a giant pan in the center. Um, and then I just used it up and up and up and up. And then I repressed it and then up and up and up. It was a whole thing. Um, I repressed it without liquid or like without alcohol first. And it was super powdery. And then I repressed it with like Anyway, it was a whole thing. Um, I tracked 186 uses on it. Not bad at all. Uh, for something that already had pan in it. That's a lot. Um, but yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I thought for a while that it might be too dark for me, but it wasn't. It was totally fine. And now I have a cream blush in here, so that's fun. Okay, <laughs> this product I've taken to using as a little container for <laughs> pain medication because it's very convenient if someone has a headache or something. Anyway, but I have the sifter to show that I did use this product. Um, this was the sample size of the Bare Minerals powder, uh, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, the, the you know classic Bare Minerals product. Um, I got this way back in 2019 as this for a birthday gift, which had like a it was good it was like a what was it mascara mini bronzer mini um liquid lipstick and mini lipstick i still have the mini lipstick i still have the mini bronzer anyway this only took me 32 uses to finish from like basically brand new so maybe like 35 um this sample's so tiny and i calculated because it had the like amount of product in it and i calculated based on the full size and this sample was 18 dollars that can't be right. They must have had the wrong number on the packaging because that's so much. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, totally. I didn't really notice anything. I don't really like this powder, so it was fine. But that was the third powder I used up, so very happy with that. Um, and two of them were like in the same month almost, I think. They were like a month apart, but uh, whatever. All right, next is the AOA mascara, which I'm spitefully counting as an empty because I spent a dollar on it, which is not that much, but it's AOA, so it is like full price. And I was using it, and I had used it probably like 30 times, and then I watched an Emily and Max video where she talked about this mascara going off in like a month. And then I used it the next time, and I, it was fine. And then like two days later, it smelled horrible. So I only used it 33 times for a full size mascara, which is atrocious, but it went off. And I bought it this year. It's not like it was sitting sealed for a long time, and then I used it. I bought it in January, and I started using it in like August. So what's the deal? What's the deal, AOA? Anyway, that's an empty. I'm counting it as an empty, okay? Okay, next was a brow gel from Glossier. My aunt got this for like me and my mom for Christmas, but I took it because my mom doesn't really use brow gel. Um, yeah, this was in the shade brown. 
wow innovative i really enjoyed this actually um i used it 102 times tracked in the project and i really enjoyed it although it was my first like brow gel with like the little spoolie like you know boy brow style brow gel very much enjoyed i would like to get her like try it again but right now i'm using the like soap brown from AOA and it's just so much product for so little packaging and it's like tin that you could technically reuse versus like this what does this even do it just goes in the trash you know so there's that um but I did really enjoy it so yay all right next was my covergirl clean fresh foundation um this I was using the whole year it took me 189 uses to finally finish it um but I did quite enjoy it Overall, sometimes it would look weird, sometimes it would look really dry, which is very strange. The name is very weird also, cover curl, what the fuck. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, but yeah, I bought it in 2020 and it took me about a year of panning to finish it up completely. It was already like, where? There. Um, and I will say if you store it like this, it like oozes out really quickly and it's very annoying. So, eh, you know, I wouldn't repurchase, but it was fine. Next was my Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Fussy, which I got in 2019, yeah. So, and I got it for full price, so I was like, I wanna use this. And yeah, I did. I used it 315 times and I used it up completely. I didn't take the stopper out. I've heard that it's unpleasant and it seemed unpleasant. And I've also seen people like not be able to get the stoppers out of this lip gloss specifically um so i didn't but i got every last bit that uh, the wand could reach and i was very very happy with that um yeah it's a good lip gloss it's a little bit like glittery like there's particles of sparkle that you can feel and that's not really my jam but i really enjoyed it overall wouldn't repurchase but if there was like a set with a couple colors that was at a good price and I didn't have many, very many lip glosses, maybe I would. The, uh, that's a good lip gloss, but not my absolute favorite. All right, that one I finished in October. So we're getting to October now. Next, my e.l.f. brow pencil in Auburn. This took a surprisingly long time to use up. It took 210 uses, which is, it feels like a lot for a brow pencil. Um, but yeah, I used it a lot as a lip liner too. It was like a nice warm brown. As you can tell, my eyebrows and my hair aren't really warm brown. Like they're not cool 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 brown but it's like dark brown anyway this was very orange for me so mostly i used it as lip liner um sometimes as eyeliner a couple times or like freckles but yeah decent i only got it because it was on sale i should have gotten a different color again not like this didn't have no product obviously it took me a while to use it up but compared to like a brow pomade or an eyeshadow the amount of product in here that's just plastic that's gonna get thrown away I'm never buying a brow pencil. <laughs> I mean, I might, but like, not really. Next was my Jordana Easy Liner in black, baby. This took so long. This took me 200, no, 206 uses from the, the whole year um, from January to November. And I used up the whole thing and I was so freaking proud of myself. It was like that long when I started. And I used the whole thing up and I like became a pro at like making a wing with a brush with this and uh so happy with it and then I was so done with <laughs> wearing liner after I was done with this I'm back I'm back to it occasionally but um yeah I'm so proud of this accomplishment I would not repurchase well the brand it no longer exists it's a fine black eyeliner it did get kind of crumbly but it's also like Four, it was four years old at that point, so I don't know. I Again, though, although this had a lot of product in it, a potted liner where you could reuse the pot for things, although it might dry out over time, you know, plus minus, but also I just don't really need eyeliner, so. Generally, twisty things with lots of mechanical pieces that are just gonna get thrown in the trash are no for me in terms of repurchasing. Okay, next was one eyeshadow from this palette. Um, I finished five eyeshadows from this palette, no, four eyeshadows from this palette earlier. In 2020 um the shadow i was working on was this third shade called champagne and i finished it and it was mostly done it just had like kind of stuff around the edges but i did put in a good probably like 60 70 uses on it to get it finished super proud of that and then i repanned the rest of the shades into singles so i could have this whole empty palette and not have taking up space in my collection um i'm probably will just throw this out Although it's tempting to keep it until I use everything up, but anyway, um, yeah, 
that was really satisfying to get back there because I had finished so many shadows from that palette in 2020 and then I just kind of stopped even though that that shadow was mostly done so it was satisfying to finish it. Next was the Clinique Long Last Lipstick in Bamboo Pink. This is completely done. I didn't clean out the middle. It's an old lipstick. I reserve my right to go back and finished the other parts, <laughs> which I probably shouldn't, but um, yeah, I worked really hard in this lipstick. I thought there was no way I would finish it by the end of this year, but I finished it in, when? Uh, in the beginning of November. So I had two whole months at the end where I was like, what, what? I finished the lipstick? And the project it was in, Graveyard Project Pan, um, because this was in one of my first project pans ever, and it looked like it was I was making no progress, um, but apparently I did. Anyway, it was in Graveyard for six months and at the end of graveyard, I was like, this is gonna be done in like three days. What? What? Anyway, very, very happy with that. Um, it took 229 uses. So that's including re- I, I haven't said this for other lip products. I do count reapplications. Sometimes I count all of the reapplications. Sometimes I just count like one or two when I might reapply five times, you know? Anyway, so happy about that. Uh, my first empty lipstick, solid lipstick ever. So, pretty huge. Next was my Juice Infused Lip Oil. This one was frustrating because I had used up like half of it in like September, August. September. Around then. And then I went to visit my boyfriend. Oh no, it was like October. Beginning of October. I went to visit my boyfriend in October and I brought it with me because I was like, I'm getting all the use out of this. And I had like that much left in October when I went to visit him. And I used a bunch while I was there and then I left in his apartment. He lives in Pittsburgh. I do not live in Pittsburgh. And so then I just had to wait for a month. He was supposed to come see me at the end of October, but he ended up canceling that trip because it was like super expensive, which is fair. I'm not saying he shouldn't have, but I was like waiting. I was like, there's literally like four uses left. It was so small at that point. And I had to wait until Thanksgiving when we were gonna see each other again to get this back and finish it. So. Yeah, I finished this. Oh, I skipped a product. I finished this on the first day of December. Finally. Anyway, such a satisfying empty. Not very much product in this. I bought this back in 20, what is it, 2019 when I got my wisdom teeth out and my lips were super dry, but I like couldn't push on them at all. So I was like, oh, if I only had a lip oil. Anyway, by the time I got it, like my lips were mostly fine. But anyway. Fun story. The product I skipped was my other Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. As you can tell, there's no writing on this packaging. I don't know what happened to this one such that I rubbed all the writing off and the other one kept all the writing, but yeah, this was part of the same set. These two plus a primer I finished last year in 2021 and a darker shade that I gave to my friend who has darker skin than I do. Um, yeah, this one took 93 uses, so a few less. Uh, these like go kind of deceptively slow, but also kind of quickly and anyway, this is pretty good I had to mix it with foundation and a little bit of concealer to lighten it up if I wanted to use it as highlight or like a glowy blush It was pretty fine um, But again, not very effortless. I had to apply it in a specific way With a brush and anyway, it was fine, but would not repurchase it, even if I could Okay, so suck it Marc Jacobs <laughs> I don't care that you don't exist anymore <laughs> Okay, um, and my last empty of the year was this e.l.f. Uh, coconut and argan oil glow dewy mist, which doesn't really make any sense. Glow dewy mist? But anyway, um, this, like I said, I bought it in January when this was about to be finished. Is there some water in there? Yeah, I think there is. Anyway, um, this was fine, except it was because it was like oil infused, it would get kind of oily and, and it was because it was oil infused and because of the sprayer, because the sprayer was not great. I don't know if that's because of the oil or what, because it's elf and it's pretty inexpensive, but like there's oil residue all on the top of it and it would get oil on like me and my computer because I, <laughs> I would like spray it at my desk and it would just like get everywhere. Um, anyway, but I like the size of the bottle. It lasted me pretty much the whole year, which is really nice, but yeah. I got a NYX mist instead just to try it out, which I'm liking so far better than this. Um, although I did really like the smell, I didn't mind the formula, the sprayer experience was just so unpleasant, and sometimes there would just be like drops of like white stuff on me, and I'd have to like pat them out and be like, no, 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 <laughs> blending please. Anyway, that's everything I used up 
Um, I'm really, really happy with that. Let me calculate really quickly how much money that was just for the makeup. Because I also have um, skincare empties in here. Apparently my Wi-Fi stopped working, so that's fun. All right, well, I wanted to show my total um, amount that I used up in empties, but my spreadsheet isn't working because apparently my Wi-Fi is not working. But all in all, empties of mostly makeup plus like probably five to seven skincare items was $280, which is massive for me. That's the biggest I've ever done. I put in some graphs in my makeup inventory of like how much I used up and how much I've got. And yeah, it's more than I spent on makeup. It's still fewer items than I bought, but I'm hoping next year to close that gap <laughs> um, and use up more than I buy. That's my goal, um, or acquire. So yeah, I will be taking pictures of all of these together and posting them on my Instagram. So if you wanna see those, go check out my Instagram, which should be linked to my bio, it's just Una Pans. Um, and let me know if there's anything you're curious about, anything you have significantly different opinions. Um, if you, I don't know, have questions <laughs> or just want to chat, just let me know. Um, that's pretty much all. I'm really hoping to step up my empties even more next year and have like, I don't know, 27, 30. Is that crazy? Probably a lot of eyeshadows though, because that's my Panda palette. So um, there is that. And yeah, anyway, I really, really enjoyed my pending last year and I'm really, really pleased with all of these empties. And um, I hope that you were interested by that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.